Hey, what's up guys, Kind of Conservative Engineer back with another video. This video is about your PE exam, which is the licensing exam that we civil engineers have to take to get our uh, professional engineer's license. Now, usually when you're looking up what books to buy, this book is gonna be recommended to you. So we're gonna talk about, oh, this book is heavy, man. Oh. This is called the, the CIRM, or the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. So my thing is, is this needed for your PE exam? Honestly, I would say no. And um, you know, before you, for the folks that believe in this book, before you uh, crucify me, let me explain why. First of all, look how big this book is, right? I have it tabbed out and everything. This book is like, a, it's like those Harry Potter books. It's huge. You can make a few movies out of this. Like, you know, um, this is gigantic. You have six minutes of problem okay in your am part and just to navigate all of this i think it's just ludicrous but let me tell you the alternative right take a review course um i took a review course with eet uh you could take with um uh what is it the school of pe what they do is they give you binders okay for each part like your um structural your water transportation and they have tables equations formulas everything you need to quickly navigate and you know quickly answer the problems this book is very good for somebody who is light years ahead of um like that school field like you know people that um completely forgot everything like people that are in their 40s and 50s that want to kind of learn about the theory and stuff because this there is a lot of theory in this okay i say about 20 percent of this book is actually useful for folks that are in their 20s i advise you to take your pe as young as possible because we can still absorb information when we're young as we get older it's just it's so hard and me i do not like big books okay i'm not a reader big like sentences and words just scare me i'll be completely honest i'm not a smart guy at all i am a visual learner so if there's tables formulas equations everything out in the open that is something that is beneficial to me so if you like theory and just want to learn about stuff and take your exam this is a great book okay they got theory in this and like how things work perfect man so if you're in like if in your 30s and 40s and you forgot a lot of things go for it no problem but if you're in your 20s right and like you still kind of remember some things here and there and you don't want to deal with such a gigantic book look at this i would advise you to take a review course eet or school of p or whatever review courses out there that just make this simple they'll take this book and give you a bunch of binders tabbed out with again tables equations charts they're so much easier to navigate i did not even though i brought this to my p exam I did not use it. I'll be completely honest. I opened it once to try to find a problem and I just could not find it. It took me forever. And I think I got that question wrong. It's something about fly ash, which I should, I should know this, but I definitely got that question wrong. So for me, this book was useless. Okay. I would advise a review course, but you know, Hey, listen, man, have it on the side. If you want, this is an expensive book. It's about like three, $400, but look at this thing. Jesus. This is again, you can make a bunch of movies out of this, like those Harry Potter books. And yeah, for me, I think it's completely useless, especially for folks that just graduated or still in that mindset to absorb information quickly. But other than that, I don't recommend this at all. But if you have it, bring it with you. You never know. Uh, don't take my word for it. Gigantic book. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a nice day.